satellite missions had extended our vision of the world, showing us the Earth with images never seen before. Revolving round the globe every hundred minutes, in 16 days, the entire surface of the planet had been recorded. It was unbelievable, fascinating, pioneering, and we learned a great deal. But we could not predict a problem that would become apparent over 30 years later. In those days, there was an awful lot of confusion. You know, well, sometimes we are afraid of changes. A cube of data is the concept that has changed the form of our planet. But to begin with, nobody talked about the big data or analyze already data. The satellite data were still stored on tapes. It was obvious that we needed to face the problem of data. Today there are more than 20,000 satellites in orbit, in space. Billions and billions of data to store, elaborate and analyze. We extended the limits of the space data highway beyond recognition. We are connected to the infinite for one another in time. so that we can provide for any specific requests from the users. Okay, okay, you are right, but we cannot predict. We can. It's not a matter of knowing what the questions are going to be. It's a matter of anticipating them. You've been doing big temporal analysis for years, and you know everything about satellites. The Category 5 storm is headed west towards Florida. To Hurricane Irma, you've heard this already, could be the costliest but also the most damaging in U.S. history. The question was, how can we extend the use of satellite data? How can we extend the use of satellite data? Only a small percentage of data was effectively used by science. So we needed to create an instrument to access 100% of the data. But how can we elaborate a huge mass of data? Let's say, holding a book and looking up a specific sentence. Now, we can do the same using a lot of books. It is impossible to know the position of every single word, page or chapter. We need to be able to extract all information in real time. It's like making a journey through time without a specific date and place in mind. We could end up anywhere. data without limits of space, time and dimensions. A data time machine. This is the concept. 
Today, there are a lot of different solutions of this concept. OLAP Cube, Data Cube, Array DBMS, and each of these solutions uses the same concept based on cubes of data. At this point, it is not important which kind of concept is the basis of the technology. We've broken a cube rules hundreds of times and we've come to the same conclusion. Variety it guarantees the availability of 100% of the data. Variety. Precisely that variety which comes from the different types of satellite sensors. The problem of the platforms for satellite data analysis is simply to not support the data. Our technology is modular, dynamic, and we know it's very fast. What more? They have an unprecedented variety of data at their fingertips. And the platform is analysis-ready data comfort. I can still remember our amazement at the end of that project. We looked at one another and we said, but it works! I observe our planet and wonder if the algorithms of learning that we created are not gaining the upper hand and I think that in some cases they have already done so. Thank <laughs> you.